You were just kind of talking about it, but how good was it just to get back out here and know that you have another game to play this year? It felt good. Everybody got out here. We, we ran around. We got some good work in. We did fundamental stuff. We get back to the basics and you know, our style of play. After a week kind of off the football field, have you, have you kind of taken note of what you've kind of done this year, just kind of how unprecedented that is? No, nah, really. I just kind of relax and just watch some, watch some football and, uh, you know, caught up with some buddies back home. But, I mean, I was thinking about, I was thinking about um, how I wanted to be in this championship this weekend. So, uh, Coach Jones talked about today in the meeting that we're going to be there next year and uh, we got to keep on working towards that. Did you surprise yourself with how productive you were with the sacks and tackles for loss as a true freshman? No. You didn't surprise yourself? No. You expected this? Yeah. So even though you came in in the summer? Yes, sir. Why did you expect it? Uh, I got high expectations for myself, and I got, God gave me a bunch of talent, so I got to use them in the, in the uh, correct way of the team. So I, I thought um, I, could, I could help the team out. Was there a time early in camp that you realized, I'm, I'm good enough to play for this team right now? Uh, I just came in with the right mindset. Wherever, I, wherever they put me at offense or defense, I didn't know if I was playing D-line or tight end. I just said I'm going to uh, work hard and try, try to help this team win. So you might have played tight end? Uh, I mean, there was a possibility, yeah. Was there a time, Derek, especially once you started really coming on the last half of the season, did, did things slow down for you, start clicking? Yeah, I think as every game progressed, I, I kind of like calmed down. Um, early in the season, I, kinda, I started off really slow. I, I thought uh, I was kind of playing a little nervous, but um, like as, as I played more and more, I just kind of got a good, better feel for it, and my teammates kept on guiding me. What did you talk about your work ethic, your capacity and stuff? Where does that come from? Where did you kind of develop those habits? I don't know. I mean, when I'm drawing the field, it's not really, it's not really like work for me. It's just kind of fun. So um, you know, I'm just getting better at my craft, and uh, you know, like Coach Shriv and the D line, all my, all my teammates, we just make it fun while we're working. And I don't even think about how it's work. I think about out here having fun another day. What do you think you played nervous, and at what point did you get over those nerves? Um, I thought I played nervous just because, I mean, I, I was, I, I mean, I was just freshman, just coming in. Like I came in the summer. But uh, I think just every game, as experience, I got better. And I thought uh, this experience helped me and my coaches. They just critiqued me in the right way. And I learned what I did wrong. And so that's how I fixed my mistakes. Were you ever nervous in high school? A little, a little bit in high school, not as much as college. But now I'm good. I mean, it was just beginning season. I'm straight now. Do, do you and some of these younger guys already feel like not freshmen anymore? I mean, do you, do you kind of feel like, hey, we're already past all the freshman stuff? Yeah, I mean, because the bunch of the other guys, they don't, they don't treat us like freshmen. They, I mean, they still hold us to a high accountability, and um, we got reshows. But was that key for you guys to know that they didn't expect you guys to be like normal freshmen, that they wanted you to play better than that? Yeah, I mean, when we first came in, they treated us like we we were just a teammate, you know what I mean? Not just we were freshmen. I mean, we were working hard every day. You guys talk so often about that time of training camp. You ran, they ran down Devon Young about 30 yards away, not being here for spring practice. Did you go into training camp feeling you had something to prove to kind of show where you deserve some early playing time? Or? I mean, yeah, I think all the freshmen did because, I mean, nobody really know how, 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 how good we were, you know what I mean? So we got to come in with the right mindset and just play ball. What was your reaction when you were told that you would start the season open or the first true freshman defensive end to do something? I was happy that I got the chance to uh, play for like, a great university and, and a great stadium in front of great fans. I was excited. And how much are you looking forward to playing in a bowl game? First one for Tennessee since 2010? I can't wait. It just, it's the first one since 2010, but many more, you know, so. Um, I'm excited. Looking up at your sophomore season, what are you going to improve on during the off season? What do you think you just still need to get better? Better on my pass rush and my hands. And I definitely need to get better in the weight room, and um, I need to get quicker. There's a bunch of stuff I can get better on. And I have to be a better leader as well. Was there a teammate that helped you early? Was it Kurt Majid or maybe somebody else that helped you as far as being a good pass rusher and honing your skills? Yeah, I'd say Kurt Majid, Corey Vereen, all those guys, and Jordan Williams. That's my big brother, so uh, he took me in when I first got here. You know, he just walked me through, it, through the ropes and everything. And, um, you know, we're roommates when we go, go on uh, trips and stuff. So, and he just tells me uh, every week, like, give it your all in the weight room, everything you do, and you won't have no regrets. Majit's ahead of you in sacks, isn't he? Yeah. You got a bowl game to catch him, don't you? Yeah, we can be. I'm going to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Any friendly bets there or anything like that? Or? Uh, it's just friendly competition. I mean, we said we we're going to try to get a bunch, and, and that's what we've been doing. And uh, also, like, the guys on the inside, I don't think they get enough credit. I mean, they're pushing the sacks towards us, so it's not just us getting the sacks, you know what I mean? It's, it's Owen Williams and uh, Jordan, uh, OBs, all those guys putting pressure up in the middle, and they just falling back to us. Have you uh, gone back to look at film to say where you thought maybe you should have got a sack or he shouldn't have gotten a sack? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you find one? Yeah, I found some. <laughs> you a... need to tell Jason Yellen about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When you're looking, when you're watching football, are there any pass rushers you kind of try to model yourself after? Do you study anything like that, or? Um, I really just watch just other players. I mean, college players, uh, NFL guys, just whoever's lined up at defenseman. I usually watch. I don't care what game it is. Just try to help my craft out. Guys, good. Just one more. With such a young team. How much can y'all benefit from these extra practices? How much, pretty much everybody's going to be back yeah. next year. How much can this team specifically benefit from the extra practices coming to the ball game? You can always get better with extra work, and uh, like me and a bunch of other guys, we're still getting better at our crafts. And, and uh, the seniors, they still have a few more weeks to lay the foundation even, even more for us, and so we can build on top of that next year.